Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny and this video right here right now is all about it's all about the rabbit in Chinese astrology. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who don't know, I'm a professional astrologer. I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. If you the Western horoscopes, of course. And if you want a reading, just check it out in the description box below. We have specials here all the time for YouTube subscribers. Oh, which reminds and please, please, please subscribe to the channel. In addition to all of that, it's a video, so if you want to fast forward, go ahead and fast forward. I'll let you know the first half of the video is about the rabbit personality, and then there's some tips in the middle. And then in the second half is all about uh, how compatible the rabbit is with the other signs of the Chinese zodiac. And that's the action. In addition to all of that, all right here on the channel, we have live horoscopes every morning. And so, you know, I read you the horoscopes that I write for the newspapers and stuff. And so... And we have mini astrology readings and for you guys. And at night, every night we have tarot readings for you guys right here on the channel. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, then but and it's all personal readings too. So we have horoscopes for everybody, and then I do your personal horoscopes if you want, mini horoscopes for you guys. And uh, at night I read your cards. So it's all by donation. And that's the action. What else is going on? The um, we also have spells on the channel. We have new moons and full moon spells. And of course, I'm a professional astrologer. I write for the newspapers. I don't know what your astrologer does, but <laughs> this is what it, But uh, if you're interested in that, I also teach the courses. So, and we do it online. It's a lot of fun. All right, here we go, guys. Do 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 do. Oh, I also record these videos live now. And so if I get distracted or if I start to laugh, it's because the sunny siders here are. Uh, on the live stream and making me laugh. <laughs> it is kind of fun. And that's the action, guys. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. And here we go. Here are the rabbit. <clears throat> February 19th. Oh, let's settle in and, and chill out. February 19th, 1939 to February 7th, 1940. Earth rabbit. February 6th, 1951. January 26, 1952, it's a metal rabbit. January 25th, 1963, to February 12th, 1964, it's the water rabbit. February 11th, 1975, to January 30th, 1976, it's the wood rabbit. January 29th, 1987, February 16th, 1988, it's the fire rabbit. February 16th, 1999 to February 4th, 2000, the Earth Rabbit. February 3rd, 2011 to January 22nd, 2012, it's a Metal Rabbit. January 22nd, 2023 to February 9th, 2024, is a Water Rabbit. February 8th, 2035, to January 27th, 2036, is a wood rabbit. <laughs> That's a good question. All right, the rabbit's pretty good. It all depends on what you are in astrology. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> That's funny. Hope he's saying duck season. These guys are going rabbit season and duck season back and forth. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, here we go. The personality of the rabbit. Whether scurrying, whether scurrying on rolling, what? <clears throat> personality of the rabbit. Whether scurrying, scurrying on rolling down land. What kind of sentence is this? Or enjoying lush meadows. There is an air of serenity about rabbits. They are peaceable creatures, and they like to be with others and be a part of what's going on. And this is true of those born under the rabbit sign, too. What? That's a, that's a not-so-paragraph. Okay, here we go. Rabbits are sociable and strive for a secure and settled lifestyle. Calm-natured and agreeable, they relate well to others. They have style and finesse and put themselves across well. They are often articulate and effective speakers. They are also perceptive and adept at reading people in situations, and if they sense discord or difficulty looming, they'll do their best to defuse the situation or get out of the way. Rabbits are skittish. Rabbits have a profound dislike 
of unpleasantness and will always aim to avoid it, even to the point of ignoring what is going on in an effort to keep the peace. Because they can be weary and cautious, they can come across as cold and aloof, but this is, in effect, their defense mechanism. Their eternal aim is to stay out of trouble. Being keen readers, okay, so their rabbit's eternal aim is to stay out of trouble. Oh, hey, Luce. Luce is back. What's up, Luce? Okay, it's funny. <laughs> okay. This is a tricky one. Rabbits, rabbits aren't that tricky, but the way this, this chapter is, is written is a little tricky. Anyways, let's go back. Rabbits have a profound dislike of unpleasantness and will always aim to avoid it, even to the point of ignoring what's going on in an effort to keep the peace. Because they can be weary and cautious, they can come across as cold and aloof, but this is, in effect, their defense mechanism. Their eternal aim is to stay out of trouble. Being keen readers, rabbits keep themselves well informed. They also tend to know where their skills lie and to build up expertise in their preferred areas. They like to specialize and establish themselves in what they do and where they are. They like to feel secure, and although they may lack the competitive instincts of some signs, as well as be adverse to, to risk or change, their skills, good sense, and personable nature will ensure many of them go far in their chosen vocation. With their ability to master detail, positions in finance, law, and retail could appeal. They also make effective diplomats and negotiators. Their sense of style and creative abilities could lead some to, to the fashion industry, design, or the arts. With their often strong faith, some could be... Oh, jeez. With their often strong faith, some could also be drawn to religion or to helping others in a counseling capacity. Whatever they do, their careful and conscientious ways, along with their reliability and likability, are appreciated by colleagues and employers alike. Rabbits are also skilled in money matters and aim for a good standard of living. In their financial dealings, they proceed carefully, thinking through major purchases and leaving little to chance. They are not comfortable with risk or disposed to speculation, and because they are so attentive, they tend to do well. They know what they want and choose well, especially where style and beauty are concerned. With their appreciation of value and their aesthetic sensibility, many are fond of antiques and obsession to art. Rabbits also enjoy living well and will not stint on themselves or their loved ones. When they go out and socialize, they often have a generous budget, though they will remain within it, although they will remain within it. Rabbits like to keep tabs on their situation, but they also enjoy the finer things in life. They will not deny themselves when it comes to their home either. They will make sure it is well appointed and comfortable and will aim for quality and style. Their home will be tasteful, well-ordered, and neat. Rabbits often have large families and are loving and supportive parents and partners, but paramount to them is their desire for a calm and stable existence, and they are not always comfortable with the, the traumas family life can bring. They like to keep everything on an even keel. They also like company conversation and meeting others. Being well-informed and interested in what is going on around them, they make friends with ease. They also have a happy knack of remembering details and names, and their swift, rec their swift recall delights and impresses many. However, while they will enjoy the good times that socializing companion and companionship can bring, if they sense problems, they're apt to make themselves scarce. Rabbits are skittish. They also do their best to avoid anything that can en endanger their settled ways. Both the male... <laughs> yeah, I know. Lucy said, I wonder if most rabbits are Libras. I'm starting to get that too. Especially with rabbits' sense of fashion and security. <laughs> it's, 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 really, it's really cute. Okay. Both the male and female rabbit have style and present themselves well. And both use their strengths to advantage, being alert, perceptive, and gifted in their own individual ways. The female in particular prides herself on efficiency and likes to be in command of her situation and domain. She has impeccable taste, dresses with style, and is, in, is an engaging and often witty speaker. She also fits a tremendous amount into her day, but always finds time to do the things she wants, including to relax, unwind, and enjoy quality time with those who are special to her. Rabbits are born under the sign of virtue and prudence. Mindful and careful, they have good judgment, are perceptive, and relate well to others, 
so enjoy good support in return. While their dislike of risk change and the unknown may mean they sometimes hold back, their capabilities and good nature bring them respect and an often agreeable and fulfilling lifestyle. Rabbits are very much their own masters. Top tips for rabbits. If you eat carrots every day, it's good. No, that's a different type of, okay. You value security and are not comfortable with change. However, in order to make the most out of your potential, it's sometimes necessary to step forward and embrace fresh challenges. If not, there's a risk you could fall into a rut and underachieve. Take note. Take note. Believe in yourself and be prepared to venture forth. When uncertainties cause you anxiety or you're worried about the choices before you, listen to your inner voice and be guided by your instincts. You are highly intuitive, maybe even psychic, and your innermost feelings are useful indicators for you. Trust yourself more, for you're your own best friend. You dislike tension and disagreeable situations, but these do sometimes need to be faced. If you were to engage more readily in situations you find distasteful, you would learn more, become stronger, and have more chance to turn those situations in your favor. Have courage and be proactive. In view of the pressures of modern day life, it's important you give yourself the chance to unwind and spend time in ways you enjoy. Not only will this help your lifestyle balance, but you need time to collect your thoughts, to be at one with yourself and delight in activities that bring you pleasure. Interest in recreational pursuits can be akin to a tonic for you. No matter how busy you are, do preserve some time for yourself. Very cool. All right, here we go. Ra the rabbit's relations with others. With the rat. <laughs> with the rat. These two signs, so rabbit and the rat. These two signs are sociable and have great people skills, but the rabbit could feel ill at ease with the energy and busyness of the rat. The rabbit prefers tranquility, not bustle, and relations between the two will be cool. In work, their professional skills can, though, go well together and the rabbit will recognize the rat's resourcefulness and ability to sense opportunity. With both canny and business, these two could overlook personal differences and make an effective team. In love, both are committed to family and home, but the rabbit longs for a peaceful existence and will find the rat's vitality and candor troubling. Excuse me. It's an awkward match. With an ox. These two value stability in the quieter things in life and will trust each other. Oh, that's sweet. In work, each will have a high regard for the other and the rabbit will value the ox's tenacity, work ethic, and principled ways. Neither is a risk taker and together they can enjoy good levels of success. In love, each will be good for the other. The rabbit will take great comfort in having such a dependable and protective partner, an ideal match. All right, rabbit and ox. Okay, next, rabbit with a tiger. Ooh. While there are many personality differences between these two, there's also respect. The rabbit admires the tiger's sincerity, zest, and ebullient manner, and relations between them are often good. In work, the relationship can be mutually beneficial, with the rabbit benefiting from the tiger's enthusiasm, ideas, and enterprise. By combining their strengths, they can do well. In love, the rabbit will delight in the tiger's vivacious and confident manner, and with shared interests, including socializing, these two have a lot going for them. So the rabbit and tiger, good match with another rabbit. With similar outlooks and values, two rabbits will feel secure and comfortable in each other's company. In work, rabbits have good judgment and set about their activities with care and skill. They are not disposed to risk and their combined efforts and capable uh, they are not disposed to risk and their combined efforts are capable of delivering solid results. In love, two rabbits will strive for a stable, close and harmonious life and can find much contentment together. With the dragon, the rabbit and dragon have a high regard for each other and respect each other's qualities. In work, their different strengths combined well and the rabbit will benefit from the dragon's enthusiasm and drive. A good, 
productive team. Rabbit and dragon, good productive team. In love, passionate, sensual, and caring, these two can find much happiness. While there will be lifestyle differences to reconcile, with the rabbit preferring to take life at a steadier pace than the dragon, this can be a strong match. The rabbit with a snake. Thoughtful, quiet, and sharing a liking for the finer things in life, the rabbit and the snake can enjoy good rapport. In work, these two have great business skills, but they do deliberate, but they do <laughs> deliberate, deliberate so. That means like they go like blah, blah, blah. Okay. To realize their potential, they need to be more action-driven. In love, their shared interests, the shared taste, interest, and outlook on life can make this a successful match. Both value stability and peace, and the rabbit will delight in having such a thoughtful and wise partner. Snakes are born under the sign of wisdom. With a horse, while these two may delight in their mutual love of conversation, the rabbit will be aware of the horse's restless energy and relations will often be reserved. In work, the rabbit will not be comfortable with the horse's hasty style. Their different outlooks will create difficulties and they will not work well together. In love, the rabbit seeks a quiet and settled lifestyle, and this may not often be possible with the busy, active, and spirited horse. It's a challenging match. Mm -hmm. With a goat, with their peaceable natures and preference for the finer things in life, these two like and, and trust each other and relations between them will be great. All right, I'll do that again. A rabbit with a goat. With their peaceable natures and preference for the finer things in life, these two like and trust each other and relations between them will be great. In work, they will encourage each other and nurture each other's strengths. If their work is in any way creative, there's a chance of great success. In love, both seek a calm, settled, and harmonious existence, and together they can enjoy much happiness. The rabbit will appreciate the goat's sincere and affectionate nature, as well as their many shared interests. A happy match. With a monkey, a rabbit and a monkey. There may be personality differences, but these two like and respect each other, and on a personal level, relations can be good. In work, though, problems can arise. The rabbit will not be comfortable with the monkey's methods or risk-taking. Relations may be challenging. In love, these two fare much better with the rabbit appreciating the monkey's warm, outgoing nature and generally optimistic nature. What? I'll say that again. The rabbit and the, the monkey in love, these two fare much better with the rabbit appreciating the monkey's warm, outgoing and generally optimistic nature. With many shared interests, they have a close and meaningful relationship. All right, the rabbit with the rooster. I wonder how these guys are going to get along. The rooster is born under the sign of candor, and the rabbit will be uncomfortable with their outspoken and matter-of-fact ways. Relations will be poor. Oh, that's not good. In work, both work hard, but the rabbit will be wary of the rooster's structured and sometimes picky ways. <laughs> their temperaments and overall approaches are very different. In love, the rabbit may admire the rooster's well-meaning and confident matter, but with one, but with one introvert and the other extrovert, and one preference preferring peace and quiet and the other activity and bustle, a match will prove challenging. With a dog, the rabbit relates well to the loyal... Okay, with a dog. Rabbit and the dog. The relap with a dog. The rabbit relates well to the loyal and trusting dog and the two signs will get on well. In work, their combined skills and good business sense can make them a powerful combination. Although, should problems occur, the dog's anxiety and the rabbit's dislike of stress could cause problems. In love, these two are both home-loving and seek a secure and stable existence. The rabbit will delight in the loyalty and dependability of the dog and they can make a happy match. <laughs> dogs take many naps. Hope he says dogs take many naps. <laughs> <It's> funny. <laughs> and finally, the rabbit with a pig. The rabbit likes the genial and easygoing pig, and relations between them are good. In work, in work, these two can combine their skills and enjoy considerable success. There's a good level of trust between them, and the rabbit will be encouraged by having such an honorable and robust colleague. In love, there will be passion and understanding, 
and each will be good for the other. The rabbit will value the pig's supportive and good nature's ways, and theirs can be a strong and harmonious match. And that's the action. <laughs> oh, you guys are talking away. We have a new sunny sider here. Jody's new on the sunny side. Hey, Jody, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. We're just recording the rabbits right now in Chinese astrology, just recording their astrology for all those born under the rabbit. Anyways, guys, that's the action. That's the rabbit in Chinese astrology. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And I hope everyone's having an absolutely wonderful day. If anyone, Just a reminder, I do record these videos live now in our live stream in the morning. And uh, if anyone wants a personal reading, I'm a professional astrologer. Just check it out in the description box below. And, uh, you know, turn into one of the live streams whenever you want. And if you drop by, please say, what's up? <laughs> and that's the action from the sunnyside.net. I'm sunny, wishing all rabbits the absolute best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys soon.